Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, how about spending a little time with Tell Talks for today? This time we'll deliver to you two stories that were uploaded on Relationships subreddit. The main theme of both stories revolves around marriages that end up with divorce. Let's jump into the first story. Here, a wife finds out her husband's been cheating and decides to get a divorce, but there's more to it than that. I caught my husband cheating on me with my daughter's teacher. I, 38 female, caught my husband, 41 male, cheating on me with my daughter's teacher. We have three kids, 13 male, 9 female, 5 female. We have been married for 15 years and together for 20 years. But recently, I found out he has been cheating. I reported the teacher and separated from my husband. I served him divorce papers because cheating has always been a deal breaker for me. My husband has begged a lot, but I still didn't budge. It's been 1.5 months since I served him divorce. I have had people try to convince me to stay. I've heard numerous advices, but most common were, one, all men cheat. If I leave my husband and find a new man, the chances that he will cheat on me is still high. Better to stay with him. Two, I will be a single mom. A single mom with three kids has a difficult time finding a new partner. We have baggage. Besides, I am 38. Three, I should just let him cheat because at the end of the day, he still provides and pays the bills. Four. Think about your kids and how it will affect them. Divorce is always harsh on kids. Five, I am taking their father away from them. All these I avoided, but what struck me was what my mother said. My mom also divorced my dad when he cheated. Our dad abandoned us after the divorce was final. I barely talked to him. My mother said sometimes she wishes she didn't divorce my dad. He left us because he was angry that my mom didn't want to work things out. If she had just worked things out, I would still have a dad. Part of the reason she was single till I was 18 was because she didn't want strange men to groom me and take advantage of me. She said to think about it. I have thought about this for a long time. I cannot even look at him. His face disgusts me. The last time he touched my arm, I jerked it off. I am fine if I never date again. But I've always had abandonment issues. I think about my children, and it makes me want to change my mind. But how can I stay with a man who disgusts me? We will be living like roommates. I need some insights on what is the right thing to do for me and my kids. Now, let's see what the Reddit community has to say about this story. Angry by the husband's doings, one commenter said, Your husband cheated with the teacher of your kids. He cares crap about your kids. How many people at the school, including other parents, know now? The fact that he did that to your kids and has embarrassed them in such a way, even though they might not know personally, is telling enough. You don't poop where you or your kids eat. Your husband just did. Divorce him. A Redditor asked, Who is everyone like honestly who is in good faith actually giving you this advice in really life as it not online? OP said my relatives, his parents and relatives, we are from a conservative community. Divorce is still looked down upon here. There's another question. How long was the affair going on and how did you find out does he still have contact with her? I know what everyone's saying and both paths are hard. OP answered that. The affair was seven months long, but I think it started a year ago. I found out he was cheating because I found a pink scrunchie in his car. I don't use scrunchies to tie my hair. Plus, the hair on that scrunchie was blonde. No one in his family is blonde. They are all brunettes. His close friends are not blonde. I did some more digging and found messages between them. There's a person suggested that stay the course and divorce. Not all men cheat. And plenty of single moms marry again. Think about the message your kids get if you stay with a cheater. And you didn't take their father away from them. He did that on his known. What happened to the teacher? If she's married, I would definitely reach out to her husband. Update Team OP replied. She was engaged according to her social media. She was fired from her job because dating parents is strictly against school's policy. And plus, she was having an affair with a married man so parents were concerned. A Reddit user shared their insight. I have honestly been far lonelier in a bad relationship than I've ever been out being single. Kids know when parents are in a contentious relationship. Honestly, I find life fulfilling as a single person and haven't felt the need to date again after my ex cheated on me. At the end of the day, you have to live your own truth, and if you're fine with it, do it. Firstly, nice try OP. At least glad to hear that she finally ditched that man of her life, and that took a lot of courage, especially when she had to face her husband's pleas and endure the gossip from her relatives. But the most heartbreaking part was the words of OP mother. Unlike her mom... There are different ways to live a fulfilling life, and it's not until we lose something that we realize our regrets. 
For some people, when they let go of something, they are like a caterpillar breaking free from its cocoon and transforming into a true butterfly. And this can truly describe OP. She doesn't need to conform to anyone's standards, she just needs to be herself. What do you think about what OP has gone through? Should she stay with her decision or accept her mom's advice? Please let us know in the comments. Not getting us waiting, OP provided an update four days later. Hello everyone, just wanted to give a quick update. Recently I had my LASIK operation done on my eyes, so I wasn't available to answer all the private messages and comments. I wasn't allowed screen time for 48 to 72 hours, but thanks to all of you who opened my eyes, I was having some doubts. In my mind I was doing the right thing, but people were telling me I should reconsider. So it created a doubt whether I'm doing the right thing or not, but the comments from people have cleared it, so where are we? That's the discussion I had with my soon-to-be ex. My soon-to-be ex came to see me during my operation. I never asked him, but he still came. He took me home after my operation. Since I wasn't allowed to put pressure or dust in my eyes, it made the majority of the chores very difficult to do. But he did all my chores, starting from dusting, cooking, and laundry. He was with me reminding me to take my eye drops. It felt good, for once I thought I got my husband back. But I thought about this a lot. He never did anything like this unless I asked him to. He never did my portion of the chores even when I was sick with a flu. He is only doing this to be on my good side. I don't want someone who only acts nice only to gain something. Plus the messages he shared with his affair partner still haunts me. It's been imprinted in my brain. I don't think doing two days worth of chores will make me forget the humiliation me and my kids went through because of him. So I sat him down. It was easier to talk to him wearing glasses. I told him I'm still going through with the divorce. I am not going to take his kids away from him. He is still their dad. I can never live under the same roof. Even if I take his advice and go to counseling together, I would still never be able to let go of the fact that he cheated. Our kids don't deserve parents who resent the other. It's better we part our ways and continue as a co-parent. I did suggest counseling as a family so that we can be the best co-parent. But as far as being married, that's out of the question. He can resent me all he wants, but he still has to be there for the kids. He agreed. Although I can see the sadness in his eyes, he said sorry for everything that he has done. He opened up about his affair. That he just thought it would be great. Because we got so stuck in our mundane lives that the affair was an escape. But he didn't realize what he was losing. He blocked his affair partner and ended his relationship with her. He acknowledges that not only he destroyed his marriage, but also ruined her career. He also stooped so low in his kids' eyes. He also said he will never date again. I told him to not make promises he knows he cannot keep. Another problem we are facing now is our kids. My oldest son knows what's happening. Apparently the rumors have reached his school. The teacher taught my middle child, so she also knows my son is not talking to his dad. He even refused to eat the meal he cooked and has been living on peanut butter and jelly sandwich. My other kids followed his lead. He refuses to talk to my soon-to-be ex and it hurts him. I even caught him crying one to two times. I can understand what my kids are going through. I don't want them to hate their dad. He is a crappy husband, but a great dad. I don't know what to do with him. If you have suggestions, please let me know. Also, I cannot reply to all the comments because I'm only allowed 30 minutes of screen time every two hours, but I will read the comments once I'm fully recovered. At this point, it seems to be OP final update on this case. The comments section has a lot of reactions and OP also responded to some questions from Redditors. There's a kind comment advised that I'd get them to see a psychologist as soon as possible. The anger and resentment are normal, and it's up to him to do the work to get their forgiveness. But they need a safe space in the meantime where to process it all and cope with the changes that are coming. They have been exposed to grown-up issues beyond their emotional understanding, and a psychologist can help them through it. Congratulations for making the right choice for you and your kids in the long term. It's not easy, but in the future, you will be so grateful for your strength now. A Redditor sharply criticized, I think your ex gave up his great dad status when not only did he cheat, but cheated with your child's teacher. OP said, I know that. I think this wouldn't have gotten this far if it wasn't a teacher. I don't know what he was thinking, or what that stupid affair partner was thinking, jeopardizing her career like that. A Redditor questioned, Why do you think it wouldn't have gotten this far if she wasn't a teacher? I'm confused about that. OP answered, because the news of my husband's affair spread like wildfire. I mean, other parents came to know, and they are complaining about this teacher because they are also afraid their husbands were involved. One of the reasons why the teacher got fired is because of backlash. The teacher taught my daughter. My son's peers also had siblings taught by the same teacher. So they also got to know about the affair. 
It was a whole lot of drama. Another person said, let the kids have their feelings. They're old enough to understand that level of betrayal. He didn't just do it to you. He did it to the kids too. I just can't get over the teacher part, and I'm a stranger. I can only imagine how your kiddos feel. Definitely do family therapy and let the therapist help them work through their feelings and find their way back to their dad if that's what they choose. Good on you for looking after yourself and kids. You're a strong woman and good mom. It seems like the attentive soon-to-be ex-husband is pulling out all the stops to salvage the relationship. It's hard to believe he's suddenly helping OP out of the blue. But OP determined stance doesn't give him a second chance, and we love that. Her way of prioritizing and always considering the children's feelings truly shows what a wise and wonderful mother she is. While this divorce was a somewhat amicable one, with both of them deciding to share custody, we hope that OP and the kids will take time for each other to heal from the emotional wounds of this breakup. Now, how would you react if you were in O.P's position? Please comment below to see if anyone has the same idea as you. On to the second story. This is about an affair between a professor and his student, which his wife was really mad about. My husband is in love with his student. I have no freaking idea what to do. My husband and I, both 34 right now, met in college. We fell in love and got married eight years back. I gave birth to our daughter in 2020. My husband is a professor at this medical school. He's a doctor himself. My friend Lily also works in the same college, and she's in the same department as my husband. A few months back in December, Lily took me out for lunch and told me that she suspected something's going on between my husband and this medical student, 24 female. She claimed she'd seen both of them give yearning looks to each other. She said that she's known my husband for so long, and she'd never seen him talk to any other woman like this, that he'd been so aloof around women all these years, but it's just different with this one girl. At that moment, I had laughed at her face. I remember telling her that she's jumping to conclusions based on these supposed yearning looks. That's why I didn't tell you before, she had said. I was confused too. It's not like he goes out of his way to talk to her, but whenever they do talk, it's like watching a slow burn romance movie. She looks at him like he's Brad Pitt and he looks at her the way he used to look at you. I remember the exact words because they stung. Internally, I was breaking down. Externally, I just smiled and told her that she's probably overthinking. That night, I casually mentioned this to my husband. I was laughing at the absurdity and I expected him to join in and deny the wild possibility that he's in love with a student. But he didn't. Instead, he looked at me all teary-eyed and said, I'm sorry. I can't get her out of my mind. I've tried, trust me. I should have told you sooner, but I thought I could save our relationship. I really wanted to. I asked him if he cheated on me. He said no. He said he didn't even talk to her, nor did they have any contact outside of college, and that he completely understood how morally depraved it is to try and pursue a relationship with a student. She wrote him a letter about a year back, confessing her love for him, and he had told her that even though he was into her, nothing would come out of it. Apparently, that was when the yearning looks had started. I honestly don't remember how I reacted then. I think I just started packing and came to live with my parents along with my daughter. I've been living with my parents since then. Half of me wanted him to come and beg for forgiveness. But he never did. He comes by sometimes to spend time with our daughter, but that's it. He never talks about the elephant in the room, nor do I bring it up. I keep checking that girl's social media. She's insanely beautiful, almost doll-like, and intelligent. I can't help but think that someone like him should be with someone like her. He's always been very good-looking, and I'm more of a plain Jane. She's Meredith to his Derek. I don't know what to do. What do I even tell people? I don't even know who I am without him. Some part of me still wants him to come back. OP then added to her post about her decision. I've decided to talk to him. I know I've been avoiding this for months, but after reading all the responses, I feel it's time I rip that band-aid out. I'm going over to her house. I'll update on what happens. Anyone can empathize with OP reaction upon learning of her partner's feelings for another person. As she described in her story, the emotional turmoil is immense. Despite her husband's claims of no act of infidelity, the deep-seated hurt of her security made it impossible for her to forgive him, leading to her decision to leave with her daughter. The potential for betrayal was already present, as evidenced by Lily's discovery and OP confrontation. That said, who wouldn't be attracted to a young, intelligent, and beautiful woman? What are your thoughts about OP reactions to this situation? We would like to know yours in the comments below, but now let's read some comments from the family of Reddit. A Redditor shared, I hope you thanked Lily good friends like that are rare. There we have a commenter who expressed their concern. So he didn't actually cheat. He has a crush. If I understand that right, he hasn't betrayed you yet. 
Crushes sometimes happen that don't mean the relationship is over. At therapy with him. OP replied, I mean, cheating for me isn't just physical. He's had crushes in the past, and I've had crushes in the past, but we'd always been up front and then laughed about it. This one feels like a betrayal because he was attracted to someone for more than a year. This someone gave him a freaking love letter. He told her that he's attracted to her, and not once did he mention it to me. That's a huge breach of trust for me, and I don't think I can look past it. In one comment, OP mentioned she's having personal therapy, not a couple's one. Then someone asked this, Just curious, why is couples therapy not on the table right now? Would you both be open to seeing the same therapist but not together individual sessions? My partner and I, as well as many of my friends, have done individual sessions with the same therapist when it's too difficult to speak about the subject directly with our partner there. That can be a good starting point. OP wrote that, I can't look past this breach of trust. I don't think he's interested either. I've been living with my fam for the past five months, and he's only ever visited to see the kiddo. I don't think he's in love with me anymore. It was clear from the tone of his voice. A thoughtful commenter on Reddit advised, let's say he comes back and asks for forgiveness and does all that you want. Then what? Will you accept him and start something new with him knowing that he did this? Think about your time and your happiness. What prevents you from finding the right person? Don't let the fear of the unknown ruin your future of being with someone perfect for you. And try to maintain a respectful relationship for the sake of your daughter. You deserve better than this. Let the past go and move on to see where it takes you. Holding on to this feeling will only make you bitter and close many doors. OP said, no, I don't think I'll accept him. I don't even think he wants to come back. The rational part of me knows that this relationship is over for good, but I have my moments of weakness when I wish all this is a fever dream. This user also suggested that you can't abandon your emotions. That will take a long time. But if you are a somewhat rational person, set a goal for how happy you want to be with or without someone else in your life in your life in your long-term future. People have gone through this many, many times. I can testify that I have faced tough times and persevered to have the best life partner I could ask for. I didn't know I could love someone this much and maintain that happy relationship. If someone like me can do this, you can definitely do this as long as you change your mindset and follow your goals. OP thanked them. Thank you so much for your kind words. Two days later, OP posted another update on this sub. For those who don't want to read the boring details in short, I have decided to go ahead with the divorce. Long story. The day I made the post, I met up with Lily for dinner. I thanked her for telling me about my husband and the student, and also for being such a good friend. I asked her about my husband. She said there's nothing unusual. He's been a bit withdrawn and aloof with everyone lately, but that's about it. Yesterday I went over to my house unannounced. He was there alone in his office. I told him I wanted to talk. He said he'll explain everything. So apparently this woman has had a crush on him for two years her friends ship her with him. She would stare at him during her rotations and would blush whenever he looked or talked to her. Back then, he didn't think much of it. Many girls have had crushes on him and he always ignored them. About 1.5 years back, they were in the same research group thing. I don't know how this works, but there were five to six people along with these two. Because of this, they had to spend some time together working, and it was then that he started noticing her. He went into detail about how he was impressed with her intelligence, blah, blah, and her beauty, blah, blah, blah. The moment he realized that he had a crush on her, he dropped out of the research thing. This was a year ago. A few weeks later, she gave him the letter confessing that she has feelings for him. The first thing he told her after reading it was you can get into trouble because of this. She didn't care. She wanted an answer. Is it all in my head, she had asked, to which he replied with, It's not just in your head, but nothing can come out of it. I hope you understand. That was the last time they interacted. According to him, the yearning looks Lily described were more of awkward eye contacts than anything else. He told me that even though he is still attracted to her, he has no intention of pursuing any sort of relationship with her regardless of whether we stay together or not. He said he's willing to change his job and go to therapy. I told him to give me some time to think about it. It's to sum up, one, this has been going on for three years. Not once did he mention anything to me. Two, the student and him spent a considerable amount of time last year working on the research. Three, he told her he liked her back. Four, he's still very much attracted to her. And that's why I've decided to go ahead with a divorce. I don't think I can trust this man again. And a relationship without trust isn't something I am interested in. I've told my parents about it. They're not exactly on board, but they're still supportive. I've also contacted my lawyer about the same. It's going to be a long process, I believe. That's it. 
I believe this is my last update. It's time to see how people reacted under this post. There's one of the best comments pointed out that what stands out to me is he could have nipped this in the bud since nothing could happen. Then when she asked if it was all in her head, he could have said yes. And he has no interest then acted completely professionally instead of sending mixed messages. If it would bother him to lie to her well, he has been lying to you by omission for years by not mentioning this. He let this carry on and now, you know, suddenly he can change his job and get therapy, but it seems like too little too late. I would also have trouble letting this go. Since again, the longing has been going on for years. Even if it wasn't acted on, the feelings were indulged more than they should have been and he's only thinking of solutions to the problem now he has to rather than being proactive. I understand why this is an issue for you. A Redditor sharply criticized, these dumbhead comments, you too hasty, it's a crush chill like shut the freak up the man, literally said I can't get her out of my head, if he was committed to his wife he would have changed job proactively not wait until now. He let it develop to a point he can't take his mind off of her and y'all saying it's no big deal, you guys obviously never had a real relationship. OP said, he said he didn't change his job earlier because quote I'm a doctor and there are people counting on me. I couldn't just walk out on them one day right now, too. He said he's willing to change his job if that's what it takes to make you stay. Another person on Reddit had a different thought. Obviously, you shouldn't stay married to him if you don't want to, but don't divorce just because Reddit tells you to do it. Personally, I think it's pretty normal to develop crushes even when being married. It's what you do or don't do about it that matters. I also haven't told my husband when I had a crush on someone else. It would be irrelevant to our relationship because I had absolutely no intention to act on it. The intensity of our love has gone through ups and downs. Such is the nature of lifelong relationships, but I know I'll stay loyal because no matter where we've been or what we've gone through, I love him and I don't want anyone else. As such, telling my husband would only serve to hurt him. There's literally no other purpose, and why the hell would I want to do that? I love him. If he asks... I won't lie to him, but I'm not going to go out of my way to tell him something that'll hurt him when it has no real consequences. It's been about 10 years since that crush came and went. It's barely a blip on the radar. Our marriage is going amazingly these days. Lily emerges as the true MVP in this story. Not only did she uncover the shady dealings between the husband and the girl, but she also courageously informed her best friend about it. Her actions were truly commendable. Now let's return to the main plot. OP confronted her husband once again, and to her utter disbelief, he admits to abandoning his research midstream for a mere student. He even blatantly confesses his attraction and feelings for this young girl, and this affair had been going on for a staggering three years without a single word to OP. Can you believe that? A broken mirror can be fixed, but not the trust, and OP decision to divorce is the result of her repeated disappointments. We fully respect her choice. While the future may hold its own challenges, we hope that OP can move forward on a brighter path unburdened by these betrayals. Well, we've reached the end of today's Reddit storytelling journey. How do you feel about it? Be free to comment your thoughts and interesting stories you would want to share here. And thank you for being a part of this incredible community. If you enjoyed today's story, don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more captivating stories from Reddit. All right then, please take care and we'll meet you soon in the next video.